Alright, thanks for tuning in and welcome to the brush. On today's episode, it's about 5 o'clock right now and it's uh, April 17th, opening day of Michigan spring turkey season. We're going to try to get some cool footage for you guys. we got a bird roosted over here we roosted from last night. So, we got a nice spot in there that we prepared last night. Me and my dad came out made a little trail so we can get about 100 yards from him off the roost. So see if we can't get him on the ground. If we can't get him, we'll hunt around until we can get one. You guys should subscribe and hit that like button. Uh, see you guys out there. Go, dude. Dude, no <laughs> stinking down. way, dude. No gobble. No stinking way, dude. <laughs> Did you get him too? Oh, I was on him. <laughs> nice. Let's go. Let's dude, go. Get up there, man. Look at 
go, dude. No stinking way. Right not, where we were looking at that thing yesterday. Not a single gobble, dude. He's got a rope. Look at his hook. Look at the hooks, man. Holy oh, crap. Those are giant, dude. Oh, wow. This is a <laughs> big turkey. Y'all have you. That was him. Oh. Yeah? That was him. That thing was like 25 pounds bigger. <laughs> wow. Holy shite. No gobble. I called the hen right to us. Yeah. Wow, dude. Literally not a single gobble. Not a conventional hunt. I just called the hen. I pissed off the hen, I guess. And the hen came with him. Could you see him the whole time? I was you, on him. Yep. You were on him? I was on him. I saw the hen's head pop up. And I saw his head pop up right to the side. I'm like, oh, that's a gobbler. Oh, yeah. And I waited for him to get right there, man, for a nice shot. TSS. Wow. This is right where we picked out to the other day, this yep. green field. Remember, we looked, we said right here, here's oh, the smell bud. Definitely a strutter. You can see his wings that's, are. That's a. That's the biggest and the sharpest spurs we've ever had. I know, dude. This thing's, this thing's a pain. Put them up right on the green field right here, man. That'll be a perfect picture. Spur. Holy crap! Look there's at some, that. Those are some hooks, dude. Look at this one. That one's sharper, even. Son of a gun. I don't understand how that, not a single gobble, and I just called the hen right to us. Man. We'd be off to different parking lots right now, wondering where that. I was almost thinking that, yeah, like, we, me and my dad, we walked back to the truck, and Justin was staying behind because he had to go to the bathroom, and when he walked across the road, he said he saw Longbeard and a hen, or just a Longbeard and some other turkey, go across the road back in this way, so I was like, well, we know that we've heard him strutting in here and gobbling in here before. So he came right back up to our tree, crept up the trail, and I just started calling. And I guess I made the hen mad enough that I was in her area. And I called the hen in. And of course, when you call the hen in, the gobbler comes right in with him. Wasn't her call weird though too? It yeah, was like, it, was like, it was like a single or double yelp. And sure enough, she came right in too. I saw her head poke up on the other side of this little hill. As I don't know if you guys will see in the footage, did you get that? Yeah. I could see the hen's head popping up. And then 20 seconds later, I saw his head pop up right next to hers. And I couldn't shoot for probably like 20, 30 seconds just because their heads were right next to each other and I would have killed the hen too. But mm -hmm. I waited for him. He popped up on this hill. And then I, I could see the hen down low about five, ten feet to his left, and I figure there's no way I get the hen there, so I let her eat with the old TSS and put him on the ground. All right, so this hunt would not have happened at all. Unless Justin, when he walked out, he could see there's a white piece of trash down there on the right side of the road. He said he saw the gobbler walk from the left side across into the right side. And even more than that, the reason why we killed this thing is because the previous day, me and my dad came in here. We made this trail so we could get in here quiet. As you can see, this is literally solid briars and thick stuff. And you can't walk anywhere with trying to make no noise. And as soon as Justin said he saw one, we, we knew we had to get up to our tree because we knew the where he liked to strut was probably 100 yards in front of our tree. So we crept up this trail as slow as we could. We got to the tree here, and as you guys see, I started calling. 
started making that hen talk and pissed the hen off enough to come check us out. And sure enough, Gobbler's right behind him. Shot him at 37 yards. Just an insane way to start off opening day. All right, we're back at the house. We're gonna get a weight on this guy and get a few measurements like his spurs, his beard, and see how long he is for the THP longbird. There it is, 22 pounds, seven ounces. Look at those things, man, them are crazy spurs. Say an inch and what is that? Inch and uh, three, not three. Uh, three A's? Three A's, yeah. Three, three, four, yeah, that's three six. A's. Oh yeah. That's inch and an eighth. About inch and an eighth on this spur and an inch and three eighths on this, this spur, which is I think is probably our best, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah? Definitely. And then this guy ended up actually having a double beard too, so. You got this smaller one. Probably ten and a half there. Ten and a half inch beard there. And then this one is. That one is six. So you got a ten and a half and a six inch beard. Good weak spot. I'm gonna hold it right on the end of his snood for me. Mm -hmm. Just down more. We know they're gonna roost in there and it's easy to get up there. 49. 49? 49. 48 and a half. 48 and a half. 48 and a half for the longbird. All right, that'll do it for today's episode. Thanks for tuning in. Like I said, we'll probably, hopefully, have more videos coming in the future of some turkey hunts. We got, we got a few more tags. We got my dad and my buddy has a tag, and then hopefully Justin will get a tag. I'm not sure if he wants to get public or private land yet, but we'll figure that out. So you guys subscribe and hit the like button. Stay tuned for that stuff, and we'll see you guys in the next one.